Hello, and welcome back to another ramen video. Uh, as you can tell, today's one is slightly different. It's um, less well known. It's by a company called Maruchan, which I'll be honest, I've not heard of or tried any products by. But this is Maruchan's Tonkatsu ramen. So, um, for those of you not in the know, Tonkatsu is kind of a um, pork flavour basically, uh, which is quite popular in Japan. I think it's one of the like standard ramen bowl things. But of course, I can't do this ramen review on my own. I do need a guest. So, as always, Dan will be joining me. <coughs> right. Hey Dan. Ah, and you've got your ramen with you as well. Ah. Awesome. So, um, as always, I'm going to do a really quick cut just to show you guys the packaging and stuff, it's hard to make out from here. It's nothing super cool you're missing it on, but I'll show you anyway. So, over to there. Alright, so here's the uh, packaging of the Tonkatsu Ramen. Um, bit of a plain one. This one, not much to talk about. There's um, a lovely demonstration of some pork, and I guess sort of greens and some vegetables that are apparently in the broth. Oh well, it tastes of... On the side is kind of just the same thing. Um, not actually sure what that says. My um, my hiragana is not that good. Kuwa, something kuwa. Tsu, tsukua, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, pretty pretty plain to be fair, but it's quite a big one, which I'm quite excited for because I imagine this will be a little bit filling than the other ones we've had. So uh, yeah, nothing else to say. Back to the video. All right, we are back. So I'm gonna unwrap my ramen. Dan has already done that job. Um, so yeah, have you ever had tonkotsu ramen before? I think at like uh, Japanese restaurants, but not so much that I can say, oh, what is, you know, I, I definitely know what that is. So what is so, tonkatsu? I've done a bit of research, a small bit of research, I'm sure if I'm really that wrong, you guys will tell me in the comments, but tonkatsu is actually not pork, it's pork bone. So, pork bone. Yeah, so you know like the, obviously the bone of the pig, uh, oh. you boil it and stuff. So well, like marrow, like yeah, it's sort of pork marrow in a way. I mean, the Japanese are known for eating some some stuff that we'd consider a little bit weird. Or so it's kind of like a broth, like, like you know, like your chicken stock, and you yeah, have... basically this I think is going to be like a flavored broth noodle kind of thing. So if you look at the front, there's a bit of meat, which I think we're going to get a little bit of meat chunks, and then we've got some veg. I don't know what veg that is. It's like. I'm not even sure. A celery and something? Who knows? Is That looks... Well, no, I wouldn't say that. That, look, that looks like spring onions. Okay. And then... This isn't coming across very good on uh, camera. Oh, right, okay. Right. I can uh, zoom it up. Right. So you got... Spring onions looking there. You got some weird brownish... I, I, I don't know, and Red then... cabbage, I'm going to go up on a limb and, and say, I don't know. And then that, I have no idea what that is. It looks oh. like a pig's ear. Yeah, I think that's just meant to be a cutlet of pork. Um, those of you who've watched anime, uh, especially Naruto and stuff, you'll have seen a lot of ramen with cutlets that kind of look like that. Anyway, we're now going to do the uh, exciting video jump to us putting water into the bowl to prove that this isn't just some CGI that I've been uh, messing with in After Effects. Really good CGI. Yeah, I don't know how to use After Effects. So that, that also limits me. So, uh, let's cut to that with some random game music. Alright, so we've left it about three minutes. Uh, as you can see from the video there, everything is like nice and porky. It looks really... I, I'm going to be honest, it looks really milky. Yes, now Tonkatsu, because it's kind of like a bony, well, you know, pork kind of bone thing, it, it does look a bit like like really weak porridge. So we've also got this weird on purple earth is sauce. This? Oh my god. So we've decided to put it in afterwards oh, because... Oh, that looks... Oh my god. Sorry, sorry, but that <laughs> looks awful. It looks like... Yeah, that's that's not... That does not look appealing. That looks like <laughs> eggs. <laughs> like, you know, like in um, Alien, 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks yeah. like the like kind of like the 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 thing surrounding the egg. I don't know what you call it. Like, um, yeah, yeah. It kind of it looks a bit mucusy. Mucusy, <laughs> to yeah. be honest. Bloody hell! That looks awful. It looks awful, but I, I, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll, I won't judge until. As we say, nothing. never judge a book of Tom Cox or Roman by its cover. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that everyone's... That's, yeah, that's the saying. Yeah. So yeah, it also came with one little bit of, like, meat, which looks like pepperoni, to be honest. It's quite thin. But you know, this is... What is that? Cut ramen. I think it's meant to be pork. That is meant to be pork. Yeah, oh well, you know, like a pepperoni pork. Okay, well, pork. I won't judge, you know, because yeah. this is a popular dish out in... Well, Tom Cox is a popular dish. This ramen particularly, I don't know. I don't think there are any reviews on uh, Hobby Link Japan, so... You know. Ugh. Yeah, now, it doesn't look the most appealing, but I will say I had Tom Cox to about a month ago in a little uh, place in Cardiff called Mount Fuji's. Um, it was quite nice. It was really, really nice. So, I think now is the ultimate time to test it. Right, here we go. Mm. Wow, that are very porky. So the noodles are a bit, a bit on the thin side and like slightly hard. Mm. But yeah, wow. Okay, so like initial taste, that tastes a lot like what you'd expect it to taste like, really. Um, Quite a rich flavour. Like if you're mm. not, if you're not into your like pig taste, then you're not gonna like this. This is uh, quite strong. Yeah, the aroma is a little bit. It's a little bit overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. It definitely has like a smell rather than a fragrance. If that makes sense. Mm. I prefer the taste over the. I think visually. It looks like, I'm sorry Red, it looks like it looks a like puke green. off Predator, you know? But, you know, it's it, absolutely it, tasty. It looks like gruel you'd see in like prison movies, mm. you know? What do you think of the broth? The broth's quite nice. Mm. It's, um, honestly, I think the broth is what makes it, because the noodles, I don't know, they're not so dumb, they're a little bit hard, a little bit wiry, like... Maybe we didn't give enough time. No, I don't think it's that, because it has soaked in by now, for sure. Now, there's some veg things I've had a few of that are quite nice. Yeah. They're like... Well, they're quite nice, but I can't... I can't really tell what they taste of. I can't sort of, like, zero in on... What do you mean? Well, like... They're sort of oniony, but... I, th I think the scallions are, like, you know, spring onions, so... Mm. I'm kind of running out of the pasta. Yeah. Noodles. Yeah, it <clears throat> it definitely seems to be it's more broth focused than the noodles, if that makes sense. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna try the um uh -huh. the um pepperoni. Okay, here we go. And you change man that. I don't know, it looks it, every every part of me saying me Ah, don't put it in, don't put it in. Right, here we go. Actually, it's kind of nutty. Almondy. Oh, okay. Nutty. Mm. Mm. Not what I'd expect, but yeah. I'll, I'll give mine a go in a second. Now, there is a slight chance there's a fish, but I don't think it will be. So I know they like putting um, Naruto, which is the sort of swirly white things. Yeah, that I've tried, just that isn't, that isn't too bad. So yeah, Naruto would love What is Naruto? Mm -hmm. Not the anime. Oh, I see what you mean about the flavour. Hmm. Now it tastes like... It's quite nutty, isn't it? It tastes like treated pork, if that makes sense. As in like, they covered it and cooked it in something. So to answer your question just now, <coughs> I think Naruto is... I think it's a type of fish, um, but like, it's not salmon. 
I'm not sure. I may actually have to research that because uh, whilst I... Actually, wait, no, no. So I, I, th I don't think it's a natural thing. I think it's sort of like a fish sausage kind of thing, if that makes a sense. A fish sausage. It's, uh, I think so. But I will put in the caption on the bottom of this uh, of this screen <laughs> what the hell Naruto is because uh, yeah I, I don't know that well to be honest. All right, so we have finished our meal. We um, have indeed. So that was pokey. That was very pokey. Very pokey. So as with the, my other two reviews, I will we'll be giving it three categories: taste noodles and value and then obviously an overall one um that we apply maths to yes so first actually let's get noodles out of the way first yeah i agree with you so out of five i would give those noodles a two they like they're a little bit hard and like well they weren't hard in that they were like crunchy or anything but they just felt they didn't add anything they were just no, there they were a little too tough i'm like it felt like he was there to fill you up a bit, as opposed to like... Really, it feels like what they wanted to do is make broth, but they were like, oh, we got to add noodles, though. Yeah, so let's chuck that in. Yeah, so th they're not... They weren't bad noodles, they're not what? I'd say they were meh. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're completely like... Meh. They're below average, so two is what I would give the noodles. Oh, I, I agree with you there. I was going to say a three, but then kind of looking at it now, I just think... Yeah, well, I think three are nothing in particular. I wasn't going, oh, wow, these yeah. noodles are really good. I found I myself like, being like, oh, the noodles are almost done. Good, good. Let's get, get on that, with it. Get that out of the way, yeah. So, flavour. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what number I'd give it yet, but... Taste, you mean? Yeah, taste, flavour. Um, Wherever. <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> but, like, it is a very, very powerful pork taste. If, like... If you're not massive on tonkatsu, like, because I think tonkatsu has its own flavour. As yeah. in, like, this doesn't just taste like a sausage or, like, something like that. This is definitely... Oh, because the types I've had before, like, the, the homemade ones, yeah. have had pork belly. So, you know, that's got its own taste to it. So, like, hmm. I'd give this, like, a three. Three. I think. Like... I was going to say three as well, because it's not... It's it's not mind blowing, hmm. and it's not so disgusting that you wanna chuck it in a bin. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's not bad, but it's not exciting. No, it, it's not something I'd like. Be like, yo, we've got to try this. If someone mentioned to me they wanted to try some noodles from Japan. Um. So then third. Uh. So the value. I think it was something like two pound forty, or like two thousand five hundred yen, or something. She comes to about four dollars ish um, if you're from America. In terms of that, I don't think it's really worth it. It's not worth it like, at all. Two I... two pound is, I think, the max I would pay for this. And how much was it? It was two pound forty. Two pound forty. I'm like, I think obviously the reason is this is big. Like if we had the smaller things, it'd probably be. It would be like one fifty or something. Um, but yeah, yeah, even then, I don't think it's that much great value, really. No. I'd, I'm going to give it a two. Yeah, same. I, um, <laughs> we've, we've matched it all three. We've matched it all three, yeah. Again. Yeah, it's... Um, but it's no, it's true. Like... It's, it's, I wouldn't pay 2 40 for this at all. Yeah, if they sell this in the local supermarket, like, I, I don't even know if I'd buy it on sale, is the thing, because, like... It's exactly what you think it's going to be, and it's very, very strong. So you've really got to be in the mood. I think the only way that would have revived it is if you had got some, like, chilli flakes or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely make this better, like, yourself. If, um, if you added stuff, as you said, like chilli, like, a hint of heat, I think, may have actually boosted this a little bit. But then, obviously, that's completely up to, you know, the yeah. individual. Some yeah. people really hate heat. And that's understandable, but yeah. So I think overall, that's going to be like a um, Maru Chan Tonkatsu Ramen. That's it. And that's the word I was going for. It's yeah. I I, I think it's a two out of ten. Uh, two out of ten. Fuck yeah! It's not that low. Jesus. Oh. Or maybe like well, 
I mean, because it's two, two twos and a three. Two twos and threes. I don't know if that works as two point five or not, but I mean, oh, don't get into decimals, otherwise yeah. we're gonna. I I'd say a two out of five. Two out of five is standard for this. It's not bad. It's just nothing to write home about, really. Um, right, well, that about wraps it up for this review then. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave a uh, thing to the playlist of my other ramen reviews there, and there'll be a random video chosen specially for you by YouTube. Um, as always, thank you very much for joining me, Dan, for thank another ramen much. review. We have a couple more lined up, so um, stay tuned for that, and hopefully they'll be a little bit better than this one. A little bit better, yeah. So until next time, goodbye.